Hey, what's up guys, Drake here, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Walkthrough. So, um, yeah, we're here in Cherry Grove City, here with my good old Cyndaquil, um, and we are going to continue our way towards Mr. Pokemon's house, which is just at the end of Route 30, which is this route right over here. So hopefully we're not going to run into a looting wild Pokemon, because I really can't be bothered to deal with them. If you look over here, you'll find a potion, so that's always nice to bring in one extra potion in case you get damaged from battling. So, um, once you get past this house, you'll be stopped by this guy. And, um, he's pretty offended because we didn't acknowledge his eye-catching house, even though it looks like any other normal house, but whatever. Anyways, um, he notices you're going over to Mr. Pokemon's house, and he teaches you about apricorns. And apricorns are special types of, um, yeah, apricorns that are found um, around the Johto region and can be made into Pokeballs, custom type Pokeballs. And um, you'll explore that better later on in the game. But in the meantime, this guy gives you an apricot box, which allows you to carry around apricots. To gather apricots, you just need to um, go up to one of these trees, you'll see a lot of these, and uh, just press A and you'll get an apricorn. So, um, yeah, this is a green apricorn, which I'm not sure what it makes, but, um, yeah, you can make custom Pokeballs with them much later on in the game. Um, not too much, but later on in the game. So, um, now we're just going to run across the grass. I'm going to take, um, a character from the Pokemon's philosophy about running through wild Pokemon grass. Props to you if you get the reference. I'm going to run as fast as I can. And hope no Pokemon runs into me. Alright, three, two, one, go! Oh, so close! Alright, with that out of the way, let's move on. So, um, yeah. We almost made it through the grass completely. And uh, here you find an antidote, which is used to heal poison off your Pokemon if it gets poisoned in battle. So as you can see, there's two trainers fighting over here. One's got a Pidgey and one's got a Rattata. Go Rattata! Tackle! And then they just start battling each other. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm battling. Leave me alone. So, um, yeah, we'll just leave them to that. That actually leads to the rest of Route 30. This way leads to Mr. Pokemon's house. And, um, yep, we run into another wild Pokemon. You know what, I'm not going to skip it, because I realise now that you guys haven't actually seen my Cyndaquil fight, and I haven't actually used it in a battle since, because I've been skipping all the wild battles and running around. So, um, yeah, we're just going to show off our skills on this Pidgey. So, uh, this is our official first wild Pokemon battle of the game. So, um, yeah. Even though I've run into wild Pokemon, this is the first time I've actually fought one in this game, so... Yeah, this is pretty exciting, somewhat. Anyways, uh, for now, you only know Tackle and Leer, as I mentioned um, in the first part of this walkthrough. Um, or, well, you'll know Scratch if you have Totodile, I think. So, um, yeah. And we run into another one. Yeah, so, um, since this is the beginning route, you won't find any very interesting Pokemon. You'll find um, Pidgey and Rattata, which... In all fairness, are decent Pokemon, but um, you don't have any Pokeballs right now, so you can't really capture them. So this is actually Mr. Pokemon's house, so we've finally arrived. Um, before we go in, we're just going to take this Apricorn, and it looks like it's a pink Apricorn, which um, should be interesting. I can't think of what it could be in terms of custom Pokeball, but I guess we'll find out much later on. So, let's go inside. Alright. So once you enter Mr. Pokemon's house, you see him talking to some guy, and um, yeah, he's the this guy's Mr. Pokemon. He's the one who sent the email to Professor Elm, and he's gonna give you the item that he has discovered, and this is what he wants him to examine. It's a mystery egg. So um, yeah, it looks like it was a Pokemon egg. So apparently, a friend of his in Ecruteak City gave it to him. And, um, it might be a new Pokemon species, so, um, yeah, we're really anxious to see what it'll hatch into. So, um, yeah, this is actually Professor Oak. Um, so yeah, we're just getting our Pokemon healed up, and now Professor Oak is gonna come talk to us. So you all remember Professor Oak, the guy who was talking at the beginning of the game. And, uh, yeah, he's one of the lead researchers in the Pokemon world, so, um... 
Yeah, he's the guy who actually taught Professor Elm everything, apparently. Um, so, um, he acknowledges your ultra-rare Pokémon, because it's a Pokémon you can't really find in Kanto, where Professor Oak is from. So, um, yeah, he asks you to, um, take his Pokédex, which is a high-tech encyclopedia on Pokémon. So you get a shiny new Pokédex. So, um, with this you can record data on Pokémon you see or capture, in order to get full information on the Pokemon, you have to capture them. And you also get Professor Oak's Pokegear number. And then, and if you call that, he'll just check how many Pokemon you've captured in your adventure. So, um, yeah, that's pretty nice. Anyway, with that all done, let's start heading over to Professor Elm's lab. So as you exit the house, you get a call from Professor Elm and your Pokegear will automatically come up. Um, so, um, it's a disaster. Um... Oh, uh, it's just terrible. What should I do? It... Oh no. Please get back here now. So he hung up. Oh dear. So it looks like something's going on at the lab, so um, we need to haul ass and get over there. So um, a quick way to get back is to go through here, but wild Pokemon. Alright, okay. Stupid wild Pokemon are a bit frequent. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, by the way guys, um, in this route you can actually capture um, two Caterpillar Pokemon. Um, in Hot Gold you will be able to find Caterpie, which is um, the base evolution of Butterfree. And, oh my goodness. I cannot wait to get repels. Anyway, um, as I was saying, yeah, you can capture Caterpie in um, Heart Gold version, and in Soul Silver version, you'll be able to capture Weedle, which is the base evolution for Beedrill. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to capture those later on in the game, you can do. So, um, now we're just going to hurry our way down to, um, back to the lab, because it looks like something bad's going on. So, um, going back the way we came, but suddenly we are stopped. And look who it is, it's that guy, the guy from outside the lab. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. It's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Hmm? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so now we enter a battle with this guy. And this guy has, like, the best battle music um, in Pokemon. Um, it's just, like, it's so catchy. And he's called Possibly Boy, but he's only called that because you don't know his name. Anyway, he's got a Pokemon, he's only got one Pokemon, and, and um, his Pokemon will be different depending on which starter you picked. He'll have a Pokemon that is advantaged against your type. So if you chose Cyndaquil, he'll have Totodile. If you chose Totodile, he'll have Chikorita. And if you have Chikorita, he will have Cyndaquil. So um, his Pokemon's going to be a level 5, um, that's not going to change. So, um, with that said, let's start the battle. So, uh, I'm just going to start things off with a tackle. I'm pretty much going to be spamming this until he dies, but whatever. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much going to be a battle with um, you and him using just your base moves like tackle, scratch, or whatever is ha there, and leer or growl, whatever stat lowering move is um, available to you and him. So I get a massive critical hit there, and it actually almost takes him out. So, um, yeah, one more tackle should actually end the match and get me the win. Hmm, <laughs> you're doing okay for someone weak. How am I weak? I'm beating you, dude. Anyways, with that said, I take out his total aisle. So now who's weak, huh? Huh, punk? Alright, so you get a lot of experience for beating um, his Pokemon. Um, enough to grow a level. And I'm actually now at level 6, and I learned Smokescreen, which is a stat-lowering move which lowers accuracy. So that can be pretty useful. Are you happy you've won? Yeah, I actually kind of am, because you were calling me weak, and now I pretty much made you look like a right fool. Do you want to know who I am? Hmm. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. So he just pushes you out of the way, and... Now suddenly he just stops around, looks around... He just comes back here. Give it back. That's my trainer's card. Oh no, you saw my name. So, uh, yeah, now we know his name. But what is his name? I'm not going to tell you guys. Anyways, um, yeah, so with that, 
done and dusted, we can start heading back to the lab and see what the emergency is. Um, oh, it looks like you have to cut to get through there. So yeah, you can jump down those ledges to take um, shortcuts and you can avoid battles like that. Um, in certain occasions, see, like this, I can just jump down the ledge and avoid the grass, which is very nice. So uh, here we are back in New Bark Town, so let's see what's going on in the lab. So as you enter the lab, you see a policeman officer here, and um, did I just say policeman officer? I mean police officer. Um, so um, he's investigating a case of a stolen Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it must come back to the site. So you must be the one who did it. So that's just the most craziest investigation rule I've ever heard. It's like, why would you go back to where you stole something? Hold on a second, he had nothing to do with it. I saw it. It was a red-haired boy looking into the building. Yes, it was a ginger. Anyways, um... Yeah, so apparently it was a red-haired boy. Sound familiar? Yeah, we battled a guy just like that now. And he had a Totodile, which conveniently is a Pokemon that can be found here. So he must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? We actually did see his name because we saw his trainer card. So this is where you can name that guy. You actually give him his name. In a way, you're his dad or parent because you actually give them a name. Um, so um, I've got a name in mind for him. And um, some of you anime fans will probably get why I'm calling him this. So I'm just going to call him that. I see, so Paul was his name. Yep, that's his name. So yeah, props to you if you get the at reference, you anime fans. And uh, yeah, so the policeman goes off and starts his investigation on finding Paul down and getting the stolen Pokemon back, so yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we're, I'm innocent. Yeah, now you can get lost, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, um, with her out of the way, um, yeah, we're going to show Professor Elm what Mr. Pokemon has discovered, and we hand over the mystery egg to him. And then he's just like, Whoa! That's a Pokemon egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen before. Anyways, um, it, there was a better reaction in the old games where Pokemon eggs were actually new, and then when he sees it, he just like completely jumps up into the sky and said, Oh my god, Pokemon lay eggs? I've never known that before. So um, he also finds out that Professor Oak gave us a Pokedex. And um, now, um, Professor Elm is suggesting we go visit Pokemon gyms and collect badges so we can enter the Pokemon League and become the Pokemon League champion. So, um, yeah, the road to becoming a champion is not easy, but if we want to do it, we can start at the Violet City Gym. So, um, that is a city that's just beyond Cherry Grove City's Route 30, and um, it won't take long to get there. Um, and it's a perfect place to start our Pokemon Gym journey, which is what we're going to be doing. So before we leave town, we're going to tell our mother that we're abandoning her and, you know, going out and becoming Pokemon League champions. So, um, yeah, so you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help, but what can I do? You could just sit around, cook dinner. Anyways, um, yeah, she suggests that money is important and... Um, She's going to give you the option of um, saving some money for you. So basically, if you enable this feature, um, your mother will receive some of the prize money you're going to get from having battles. And um, you can co cash that in. Um, she will buy items for you with that money sometimes. And um, yeah, you, it'll, it's very beneficial to do it. I would do it. Um, so yeah, I've told my mother that she can take care of m some of my money. And, um, yeah, sh after, afterwards you can always come back to New Bark Town and actually withdraw that money and take it all away from her. Because that's what you do to mums, you just get them to save your money and then you just take it all away from them. Anyways, um, now we can start our adventure. So here's Lyra, who is playing with her Meryl. And, um, she wants to teach you how to catch Pokemon. So she's going to give you give us a short tutorial on how to capture Pokemon. So here she goes. Yeah, this is really educational. Lyra, you're such a good teacher. Just like that. Huh? Was that too fast? More like it was too crappy. I mean, you didn't even battle anything. You just jumped around in the grass, but whatever. Anyways, now she's going to show you how 
properly how to catch a Pokemon. So now she's just going to capture this Rattata just to show us how to do it. So here she goes sending in her Meryl which is at level 5 and um, yeah she's going to use Tackle. You can see the moves on the um, touch screen like you can on your own Pokemon. So now she's got Rattata down on low HP. So this is how you capture a Pokemon. You lower its health points to the minimum as possible and um, then um, you throw a Pokeball and hope it gets caught. Um, in addition, um, if you put any status um, elements on um, your, the Pokemon, then um, that can also help um, to capture it if you poison it, paralyze it, or burn it. Um, those definitely help when capturing Pokemon. They reduce the catch rate significantly. Each Pokemon has its own catch rate, and that determines how easy the Pokemon is to catch. So, um, yeah, that, that's how you capture Pokemon. So that was a pretty good tutorial, Lyra. Much better than the one where you just jumped around in the grass doing nothing. Anyways, um, to start you off, she gives you five Pokeballs. So, um, yeah, it's really meant for each other um, party member you're going to get. So now you're free to capture Pokemon. So, um, with that said... Um, you can now capture any Pokemon you see. So, um, if you want to capture any Pokemon around here, you can capture Pidgey, um, you can capture Rattata, you can capture the Caterpillar Pokemon in the other route, and, um, yeah, you can catch a Sentrent. Um, oh, also in the night, you can catch a Hoot Hoot instead of a Pidgey, which is uh, another type of, um, flying type Pokemon. And it's a pretty good Pokemon, um, it's definitely really great. It can learn some psychic type moves later on in the game, so that's pretty nice. Um, if you go through this gate, um, you can actually find some other Pokemon. Um, you can find a Geodude through this gate, which is a rock ground type Pokemon. You can also find Spearow, which is a flying type Pokemon, and it's um, a counterpart to Pidgey. It's a more aggressive um, flying type Pokemon, and uh, it's more physical... It's more of a physical attacker than Pidgey. Pidgey is a physical attacker, but Spearow tends to have a slightly higher attack. Anyway, um, with that done and dusted, and um, yeah, we can um, start moving off. So as you can see, I'm not skipping battles right now, so I'm just going to run away from them. Um, for those of you who are wondering, yeah, I'm not um, training my Cyndaquil much. Um, just because I like being a little bit underleveled, um, just to give myself a challenge, because, you know, for me, Pokemon isn't too much of a challenge, but it's something that you can make into a challenge if you know how, if you don't train that much, and you just fight when necessary, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing um, in this adventure. So, um, as you can see, there are a lot of Pidgeys around here, and, um... Yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm going to capture anything along this route. Uh, I'll see how I feel. But, um... Yeah, as you can see, there's loads of Pokemon. So now, um, you can actually head to the rest of Route 30, where those two guys were battling, um, earlier on, so... Yeah, okay, I'm skipping World Battle. Okay, so, moving on. We can move on. Yeah, moving on, we can move on. Sue me, that's such a good phrase. Anyways, um, here we're going to have our Pokemon battle with um, a normal trainer. So, um, yeah, this is um, Youngster Joey, and um, he's got a Rattata. So he's the guy from before who used Rattata. And um, if you look at the dialogue before, he actually lost to the Pidgey trainer earlier. So... Um, yeah, that sucks for him, and he's about to get his second loss from me. Um, so, we don't know any fire-type moves yet, but um, once we do, um, Cyndaquil will be a lot tougher, um, or E-Explosion, as I like to call him. So, yeah, we beat this guy's Rattata pretty easily, so he definitely needs to golf and train. We reached level 7, so, nice, we're making pretty good progress. Um, this is pretty much the level you should be at right now. And um, yeah, some trainers will ask you for their f um, if you want to exchange numbers. I 
honestly would not do this because um, they call you up for like the crappiest reasons like this guy will probably call me up and say, hey, guess what? I almost caught a pigeon the other day. I was so close! So, it's just like, who cares? And sometimes they just call you for rematches, but other times they just call you to say like, oh, I almost captured this Pokemon, it was so close. They make small talk and then they start filibustering, which is really annoying. So, um, I definitely recommend you don't exchange numbers with anyone. So this guy um, is the second trainer of the route, and he's got a Pidgey at level 2. So, um, pretty Greenhorn trainer if you ask me. But, um, at the same time, my character's a Greenhorn trainer right now. But, um, in comparison to this guy, I'm much less Greenhorn. So this is probably the kid that was battling um, the other guy we just fought and won, because he had the Pidgey earlier. But this guy has both a Pidgey and a Rattata, so obviously this guy's better. Um, so let's just tackle this thing and finish it off. This should get us to level 8 as well, so yeah, there we go. So we get to level 8, and um, yeah, great progress. That's strange. I won before. Yeah, you don't always win. I mean... Yeah, I won before, so that means I must always win. <laughs> you know, that that concept only applies to me, kid. Anyways, um, here you see a different type of trainer. This guy is actually a bug-type trainer. Um, you'll see a lot of these guys um, in the game. And, um, yeah, they specifically train bug-type Pokemon, which are weak to rock-types, fire-types, and flying-types. So, um, yeah, if you got any of those types, you won't find these guys any problem at all. I, of course, have a fire type with no fire type moves, so this is going to be a pretty casual battle. So, um, this is a Caterpie, which is a Pokemon you can actually find around here, so if you want to add that to your team, uh, by all means, add it to your team. Go capture it with um, your newfound knowledge on how to capture Pokemon, for those of you who didn't know. So, um, now this guy's got two Caterpies on his team, which are both at level 3, so... Just tackle away or do whatever with your Pokemon and um, yeah. So as you can see it's using String Shot which lowers speed um, and if um, your speed gets lowered you um, will attack um, after your opponent if its speed is higher then you'll reduce um, speed from the speed lowering move. So yeah that's how Pokemon works. If stats gets lowered um, then obviously your, your Pokemon won't be at its full potential. Anyways, um, here we are on Route 31, and every new route you can capture new Pokemon. So, um, in this route, I know for a fact you can capture a Bellsprout, which is a Grass-type Pokemon. And um, it's a very nice Pokemon, actually. Um, it um, eventually becomes a very good um, special attacker, which um, would be great for your team. Um, I definitely recommend it. Um, you can also see this cave, which is the Dark Cave. And if you go inside, you can actually find um, Zubat, which is a poison flying type Pokemon. It's a very nice Pokemon. Um, eventually, it evolves into Crobat, which is one of the fastest po non-legendary Pokemon in the game. So, um, yeah, very nice stuff. Um, over here, you'll see a fat guy, and um, he was actually sleeping. So, um, yeah, he says, if I was a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch, because he's asleep. Get the reference. So, um, we're just going to pick this Apricorn, and, um, yeah, this is a Black Apricorn, which I'm pretty sure makes a Heavy Ball, um, later on, um, when you can make Pokeballs out of Apricorns. And, uh, Heavy Ball will help you capture Pokemon the heavier they are, so, if you have, like, overweight Pokemon, then it'll be effective. So, um, here we got another Bug-type trainer, and, um... He's got a whole big team of Bug-type Pokemon. That's what Bug-type um, trainers tend to have. They tend to have a lot of Bug-type Pokemon on their team. And most of the time, they're all the same Pokemon. So, yeah, that's just kind of weird. Why would you um, use um, the same Pokemon over and over on your team? That's exactly what Einstein said about insanity. Uh, doing the same thing over and over 
and expecting a different result. I mean, you know, I'm just going to kill every Caterpie you throw at me, so, you know, this guy's definitely insane. Anyways, um, enough on the intellectual talk by me, uh, Einstein, woo, I'm so smart. Anyways, um, yeah, so, um, oh, wait, Combo Breaker, and uh, I see an Obama here, it's a Weedle, so, um, yeah, definitely not a Caterpie, but it's still a Bug-type Pokemon, and it's still a little Weedle. Um, so yeah, be careful of Weedle because it does know Poison Sting, which can obviously poison you. And if you're poisoned, your Pokemon will lose health over time, even outside of battle. So poison is something you definitely want to cure right away when you get it. So um, back to Caterpies, we got another Caterpie. And um, Caterpie is the harmless Caterpillar, it's got no poison in it. So yeah, it's definitely nothing to worry about. You just tackle this thing until it's dead. So yeah, Pokemon don't actually die when you beat them, they just get knocked out, but a lot of people say they die um, when, you know, oh, my Pokemon died or whatever. So yeah, just to keep things simple, I'm going to say they die when I kill Pokemon when, you know, I knock them out. But no, I'm not giving you my phone number because I don't want creepy bug people on my phone. So um, yeah, we're going to pick up this Pokeball. Uh, I definitely wanna, don't want to fight that guy with a million Caterpies and one Obama Weedle. Uh, so, um, yeah, we got a wild Pokemon battle here. It's another Pidgey. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to use a Pidgey on my team. So, um, here we are. This is Violet City, so it's just beyond this gate. So, this is actually where we're going to end the video. Let's just talk to this nerd. I got a really good Pokemon in the cave. I'm going to reuse it to on Flanker. He's the leader of the Violet City's gym. Um, did I call him Flanker again? Um, for years, I've been calling that guy Flanker, but he's actually called Faulkner. So, um, yeah, I apologize for that. If um, in the next few videos I accidentally call him Falker or whatever, did I just call him? His na actual name is Faulkner. So, um, yeah, we're going to be fighting him in the next episode. So, um, any thoughts, Cyndaquil? E-Explosion is dizzy. Okay. Look, no, oh, well, I do that. I make people's heads spin. Oh, yeah, that was not funny at all. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you guys on the next episode when we enter Violet City and take on the first gym leader battle of the Johto region. I'll see you guys next time.